So Google just released Gemini 3, which is the strongest AI model we have ever seen. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up this brand new model inside of N8N, and we're gonna go through a quick demo showcasing some of its unique capabilities. That way you can start implementing this beast inside of your AI agents and automations. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna get our API key. And to do that, we are gonna to head to aistudio.google.com, and there's a link to that down below in the description. Now, if you've never used the Google AI Studio before, you definitely need to check it out. It's essentially a place that's meant for developers, but all that means is they give us all the Google AI tools and they let us use them essentially for free, which is pretty sweet. So it's obviously stuff like Nano Banana, VO 3.1, Gemini 3, they kick you a certain quota, but you can play with things inside of this Google AI Studio without ever paying a penny. Now that's kind of besides the point, but this is the same place where we get our API key. So once you're on this page, you're gonna to go to the toolbar on the left and you're gonna to go to get API key. You're then gonna to come to the top right, you're gonna to go to create API key. You're gonna name it something, I'll just call mine N8N2. And then you need to select some sort of project. Now, if you don't have a project here, you can go to create project. We can name our project and then go to create project. Once you do that, you're gonna do create key. So once you do that, you'll see this. You'll see your key, your project, when it was created, and then the quota tier. Now we do need to set up billing if we wanna use the Gemini 3 API. If you're just using like 2.5 Pro or 2.5 Flash, they let you get away with the free tier, but we do need to set up some billing. So you're just gonna click on set up billing. This is gonna take you to the Google console and you have two options, either link a billing account or manage billing accounts. Now, if you already have a billing account ready to go, you're just going to connect it. If you don't, you're just gonna to go to manage billing account and it's just gonna walk you through step-by-step step to connect your credit card to some sort of account. Once you do that and you refresh this page, the free tier will be on and it will show it as a tier one quota tier. Now, all you need to do is copy your API key and then this is where we're gonna to head to N8N. So I'm inside a blank canvas here and the first thing you need to do is make sure you are on the latest update. So if you're not sure, if you come down to the bottom left, it will show you your update and how many versions behind you are. If you're on the N8N cloud, you can just update it through here. And obviously if you're self-hosted, it kind of just depends on what you're using for your hosting service, but just make sure you're on the latest version of N8N. Once you do that, we're just gonna click here. We're just gonna search up Gemini and you'll hit the first one, the Google Gemini button. And let's just do analyze video here on the bottom. It doesn't really matter what you do. But what we need to do is we need to connect our credential. So you're gonna go do create new credential. You're gonna keep this host the same and you're gonna paste in that API key. Make sure you rename this up top on the left so you can keep all your accounts organized, but then you're gonna hit save and you're all set. You now have Google Gemini 3 connected to N8N. Now in this example, we have the analyzed video module. So I have the credential connected. Now I just go to the model and obviously there's a ton of models here. If you just put in three and then scroll down, you'll see Gemini 3 Pro Preview. That is the key we want. Now, when it comes to N8N, there's really two ways to use Gemini. Either you kind of have these built-in modes, like this analyze video mode, or you can use it in a more like traditional agent sense where like, hey, I have this AI agent. And then for my chat model, I go ahead and I just connect Gemini. Same thing as before. I make sure my credential is correct. And then I just search for Gemini 3 Pro Preview. And I now have Gemini as my agent chat model. Of note, Gemini 3 is really good at tool calling. In the past, 2.5 Pro just kind of wasn't up to snuff compared to things like GPT. And if you try to use Gemini in a rather complicated agent center with multiple tools, it would sometimes fall apart. But I have noticed that Gemini 3 is much, much better in this instance. Now as for the demo, the thing I kind of wanted to go over was this module itself, the analyze video model, because out of all of the state of the art models, right? Grok, Claude, GPT, and Gemini. Gemini is, well, I have found personally, is the best at sort of these multimodal operations, AKA doing things that don't involve just text, right? Giving it images and especially videos, it is really good at analyzing them and giving them some sort of output. So what we are gonna to create today as a very simple demonstration of its power is essentially an automation where we can choose any YouTube video we want, have the video analyzed and turn it into a LinkedIn post that is then uploaded on our Google Sheet where we can either edit or actually copy, paste, and post on our actual LinkedIn and it's gonna be super easy to create. You can kind of see Gemini 3 in action. So first things first, we have our module, right? You're gonna to go to analyze video and you're gonna connect it. And here inside the URL is where we need to paste some sort of video. So I suggest just going on YouTube and finding a video that you in theory would like to make a LinkedIn post about. In this case, I found this YouTube video from Google itself. It's their Google anti-gravity account. I should probably subscribe to that. And in case you don't know what anti-gravity is, it's their brand new agentic IDE that they just came out with alongside Gemini 3, which essentially means it's 
Google's version of cursor. So if I go into NNN and I paste that URL in there, now for the text input, I'm just gonna say, hey, I want you to analyze this video and then create a LinkedIn post for me. So I wrote analyze the video, then create a LinkedIn post based on the video, only output the LinkedIn post itself, no preamble, because I don't wanna have something copy pasted over that says, hey, I made this post for you, right? I just want the post itself. Now, if I hit execute step, it's gonna do all that right away. So over here on the top right, we get the text, right? It makes our little LinkedIn post, has some uh, cringy emojis, but we have the text there, but that's not enough, right? It's not enough to create an automation where we throw a hard-coded YouTube video in there and it gives us this text. We want it to actually go somewhere, right? We talked about sending this to Google Sheets, so let's do that. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to create some sort of Google Sheet, right? So if you hop inside of Google Sheets and create a table, you can call it whatever you want, LinkedIn Gemini posts. In this case, very simple, it just has three columns, date, video URL, and post. And what I'm gonna to wanna to pass to it is the video URL, so I have something to you know, reference, and then the post itself. And this will become sort of my one-stop shop for being able to turn YouTube videos into posts. So we're just gonna search for Sheets. We're gonna do append row and sheet. Now, once we're inside Google Sheets, all we need to do is connect it to that table. So we have LinkedIn Gemini posts on Sheep 1, and then the text we're gonna to wanna to put into the post. Now, what about this video URL? How do we actually get that? Well, we're gonna to have to fix this automation a little bit because first of all, I don't want it to be when clicking execute workflow. What you probably want this to do is you wanna have some sort of form submission where I can just insert the URL inside there and then it automatically runs, right? It doesn't make much sense to have to go inside the module itself and edit all these things. So let's do that. So I'm gonna delete this trigger. We're gonna do form submission on new NADN form event. And then we'll just call this Gemini LinkedIn, add a form element. This will be the YouTube link, make it required. So here we go. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna take this URL, we'll delete this, come back inside here. And what I wanna do is I just wanna execute this workflow, which brings this up. Now the way it'll work is I just put the YouTube link in and the automation will automatically run. So we'll hit submit. I'm gonna pin this data, drag it to the Gemini node, and now we can map this, right? Now it's gonna be dynamic. Now it's gonna be dynamic. No matter what link we put into the form, it's gonna be ingested into Gemini, which will create the post and put it inside here. Furthermore, if I click on here, we now have the ability to map that, right? So the on form submission, this YouTube link can come here as well. That way I always know, right? And I can also put the date in here if I wanted to do that too. So with that, let's run it from the top, right? The form's in there, I'm gonna hit execute workflow. And next we should see it populated inside of our Google Sheets. And here's a look, we have the video URL and then we have the actual post that we could copy paste into LinkedIn if we wanted to. And all this was obviously just a very simple automation. There's a ton you could do to make this better, right? We could go inside here. We could give it examples of LinkedIn posts we like, our writing style, right? So we could actually get a LinkedIn post as a final output that we would really use. But this was just to demonstrate A, how to connect Gemini to NADN, and then B, how to use some of Gemini's unique features inside of an automation you might actually use, namely the video analysis. Because the video analysis, especially inside of NADN, is something that Gemini is better than everything at. And 3.0, just turn that up a notch. So hopefully that helps you out. And as always, if you're looking for more resources about, hey, how do I start an AI agency? How can I create more automations and agents? Can I get templates? Make sure to check out the school resources below. Obviously, we have the paid school for the AI agency stuff, but tons of free templates, 50, 60, 70 of them right now, if you go ahead and check out the free school too. So check it out. And as always, I'll see you around.